Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Today's story, I Hate Hospitals, by SL1878. Hospitals always gave me the creeps, and unfortunately for me, that's where I ended up spending a lot of my time after my parents divorced. I ended up living with my mother, who worked as a nurse at the local ER, usually on a shift that went into the evening. So, for a lot of late nights, I would be hanging out in the ER waiting room doing my homework and thinking of asking my dad if I could move in with him, even though he now lived three states away. Being in the ER waiting room, I got to see a lot of things, ranging from people walking in through the front doors holding their own severed thumb in a thermos to hysterical young housewives insisting they had an emergency because little Timmy fell and bumped his head slightly. It wasn't the gore or the panic that gave me the creeps. I was fine with it, but the sterile, cold atmosphere of the place set me off. But worst of all, there were the sounds. Oftentimes, you'd hear the moans of critically ill patients in the distance, or the shrieks of pain from someone getting treated, or the hushed, grave whispers of the nursing staff. But I could argue the place was creepiest when it was dead quiet. Even though I wasn't supposed to, I often left the waiting room to wander the hospital halls just to get away from the silence. I was comforted by the usual hallway sounds, the echo of my footsteps, the occasional beeping of the machine, a page over the PA system in the distance. Then there was a night when a young woman, in labor, ran through the ER doors. They began the delivery right away, right there in the ER. I heard the doctor yell that there was no time for a transfer to the OBGYN unit. After about 20 minutes of pained shrieks and agonized screams, sudden silence. Overhearing some of the nurses not long after, I understood that it had been a very late-term miscarriage. As the night progressed, it was one of those dead quiet nights save for one sound, the echoing muffled sobs of that poor woman. Unable to stand it anymore, I got up and checked that the coast was clear before beginning another one of my long hallway walks. It seemed silent, uh, even by the usual standards. No calls came over the PA, and even the beeping of machines seemed absent. While walking down one of the halls toward a corner, I stopped when I heard an unexpected noise out of nowhere. It was only for a moment, but I was sure I heard the gurgle of a baby. I looked around, but I saw no one. This was far from the pediatric unit. Why would a baby be around here, I wondered. I looked back in the direction that I was headed just in time to see the end of a bloody umbilical cord slowly drag around the corner and disappear. I moved in with my dad two weeks later. So stay scary, my wildlings. Remember, not every fear or aversion is a phobia. Some of them have very, very good reasons. And make the most of your nights. <laughs>